Hello people, welcome to the Games Day Show and the Games of Nations. I'm Ben, and this is sort of another run thing I'm going to do. I did I think one a while ago to do with um, video game violence with the Sandy Hook shootings, and now I'm here with another one which came up yesterday about sort of just general crap. Right, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with the game Dead Island. I sure am, I quite like the game, it's, it's not perfect, but it's okay. And, um, so yesterday the UK Collector's Edition, was called the Zombie Base Edition or something like that, was announced for Dead Island Riptide. Um, and, yeah, it wasn't an amazing Collector's Edition, I mean, I would have thought it looked actually pretty cool, but, um, it caused a lot of controversy, along with the controversy around the first game. So I'm going to sort of explain some things I've been uh, sort of accused of, sort of, like, whatever they've been had a go at because they've done and I'm gonna say sort of like why it's bullshit. So the zombie base edition, the reason why people didn't like it, I don't know whether they're gonna even sell it now, which is going to be extremely irritating. But the reason why they didn't like it is because the collector's edition contained a sort of like a torso of a woman. Uh, it had no arms, no head, no bottom half, and she was wearing a bikini with um the Union Jack on. So it was obviously a UK exclusive collector's edition because of the the bra. Um, now there was nothing offensive on it. There was no. It was not implying any sort of sexual whatever. It was essentially it just looked like an average sized woman. Okay. It, there was nothing saying it was too skinny. There was the breasts weren't too big. It was it was pretty normal. Okay. It was you know sort of a fairly normal body for a woman. And it had sort of like cuts in it, it had some ribs showing, some zombie bites, you know, because it's dead island, it was spattered in blood. So I thought that would that looked pretty good. I mean I would have bought that. It 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 looks like a pretty nice sort of statue kind of thing. I don't know what to call it, sort of like a I'm just gonna say statue. It came with a steel book edition of the game and some art styles. That was pretty much it. Um but it caused lots of controversy because of people saying, you know, like, that is being over-sexual, it's disgusting, it's not art, why would you do this kind of thing. It's just like, come on, I've seen paintings worse than that. And you still call them art because they're paintings. I mean, seriously, it's a statue of a disembodied torso. It, it's, a, it's a statue of a torso of a woman with a bit of blood on it. What's wrong with that? I mean, seriously. I mean, no one would complain if it was a dude's torso. I mean, like, if it was a dude's torso, I mean, he wouldn't be wearing a bikini, obviously, but, you know, if it was a dude's torso with zombie bites and shit like that in it, no one would complain. So, why complain if it's a woman's torso? I mean, I'm sure many women I know wouldn't complain about it that much. I mean, maybe it's also like the blood and stuff a little bit, and maybe it's slightly creepy, but apart from that, no one would complain. I mean, seriously. Anyway. On to more to do with the game, first game now. There was, of course, the CGI trailer they released for it. Of the list, of the um, so say it was a reverse trailer of this little girl dying. Now that caused a lot of controversy, and I actually got um, I don't know what it was. I don't know whether I got banned from YouTube for a couple of days or something like that because of the comments I posted on the video. Um, and I stated that I said it was extremely stupid for people to be complaining about this trailer because it's a CGI trailer of a girl dying. Okay, right, there's, it's not real, <laughs> it's computer generated footage of essentially numbers dying, because that's what computer generation is, it's numbers. It was this computer generated girl falling out of the window after being bitten by a zombie. That was it, and that caused a hell of a lot of controversy. And it was just stupid, because... No one would complain if it was an adult falling out of a window. It's just, you know, it was because it was a child. Zombies don't care if you're adults or children. <laughs> they they just kill. There's there's no distinguishing between the two. Anyway, if you look a bit closer, obviously if you look at the artwork, that caused quite a lot of anger because it is, you know, it's quite bloody. It's got zombies on the front that are covered in blood. I think actually was, and got their ribs showing. So yes, it is a bit graphic. But I've seen books that are worse than that. I've seen CD covers that are worse than that, and they don't have age restrictions on. 
I mean, yeah, it says on a CD it says parental advisory or something, but I bought CDs that said that when I was eight. I bought books that say have little warning labels on saying may contain inappropriate content at eight, and yet, you know, they've they've had horrible phone covers. I mean, there was one that had like a dog mauling someone or something. I had it was. Like, you know, it was obviously aimed at sort of like an eight older age range, sort of like my age or older now, and I was able to buy it back then. It's just like, it makes no sense. Of course, this was put on sale everywhere. I mean, I've seen DVDs with worse covers than these, and no one's complained about that. And of course, it's rated 18. It's not like it's a 12 or something stupid like that. Anyway, moving on. If you see there, Dead Island. The eye is a person hanging from a tree. Now that caused a lot of complaints from people. I have no idea why. Um, it was supposed to do like it encouraging suicide or something stupid like that. Some bullshit that no one cares about. I don't see it. I see it as a logo. In fact, the rope is honestly quite hard to see at times. I just see it as an eye. It's just got a palm tree in the middle of it. And if you look a bit close, there's a rope. There's nothing, right? It's it's just a logo. I'm sure there's other logos which have incorporated such memes. I don't quite know how to word that, but anyway. Um, of course, the Dead Island Rip Side CGI trailer caused a bit of a stir up, not as much as the first one because it was it was a married couple. Um, they were being sort of like zombies were coming in at them from all sides and they committed suicide by blowing themselves up and that caused a bit of a sort of like Ugh. but nothing nothing anywhere near as much as the first trailer but I just don't get it why this hate towards this game I mean yes it's not an amazing game let's put it that way it's not fantastic it's a good game it's a playable game it's a fun game and it's obviously rated for adults Every single piece of content in this game, outside of this game, is meant for adults. Hence why the 18 age restriction on it. Now, why complain when it's being an adult game, when it shows you adult content? It, there's just no logical reasoning behind this. It's like if there were... It's like people complaining that Saw was bloody. It's an 18. It's about people killing each other in extremely bloody ways. Why would you complain if there was blood in it? I mean, I don't think there's been any complaints about that, but it's like that. Uh, I just don't get it. <laughs> um, it's the same with many of these 18 games. 99% of the time it's 18 rated games that receive the most amount of stick for what they show. And yet, they're clearly rated for an adult audience. Same with films and stuff like that. Music very rarely gets blamed for anything. I can think of that three instances where music has been blamed for stuff, and books never get blamed. And nine and quite a lot of books I have read are actually worse than films and games. I mean, I'm reading the Hunger Games books, and I'm surprised how graphic and violent they are. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much rant over now. Um, Dead Island Rip Side is out March, I think. March or April, don't take my word on that, I'm sure it's on the internet somewhere. Um, I will provide a link to the Zombie Base Edition, and I will provide a link to both the trailers for the original game and the new game in the description. Thanks for watching, and check out the other videos. Thanks!